Well, getting an MRI can mean spending a long time in a tight space. It can be uncomfortable, especially for patients who are claustrophobic. But in this morning's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow shows us how researchers at the University of Missouri are working to create an easier MRI experience. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. MRI machines use a large magnet and radio frequencies to create detailed images of the organs inside your body, but they also require you to lie still, sometimes for long periods of time. Getting an MRI is not most people's idea of fun, and a scan of the heart can be particularly challenging. It can be very hard, it can be very tiring, and they're often very long exams. We schedule them in 90 minute, an hour and a half slots, which if you've ever been in an MR scanner, that's a long time. Plus, there's work involved. In order to get a clear picture, patients must hold their breath over and over. In general, an MRI takes a long time to acquire a single image, and if you're moving during the acquisition of that image, you'll get blurring. But a team of researchers at the University of Missouri is working to fix that problem through a project called HeartSpeed. Using data analysis software, they're working to pull out motion information from the MR images. This would allow radiologists to see the heart clearly, regardless of whether the patient is breathing. We found that we could separate uh, breathing motion from the heart motion quite well using the, the software and we thought we should try to start applying this to real patient data. The goal? A more comfortable scan in which patients breathe freely. Without repeated breath holds, scans would also be much shorter, cut to just 15 to 30 minutes. Patients will benefit because it'll be easier for them to do the exam. Hopefully the radiologist who reads it or the cardiologist who reads the MRI will benefit because the images will be much better. Reducing the stress on patients while using the scanners that are in high demand more efficiently. Joining me now is Dr. Talissa Altez, Chair of the Department of Radiology at the MU School of Medicine. Can you tell us more about what types of conditions require someone to be in an MRI machine for so long and to hold their breath? Our particular project is focused on patients with heart disease. So it can be acquired heart disease like a heart attack. It can be congenital heart disease, so you're born with a structural issue in your heart. Uh, but any type of heart disease requires these long MRIs because we have to uh, have you hold your breath so you don't have chest wall motion and then we have to image a long time to see many beats of the heart. This is really going to impact the patient experience at some point. Our hope is that we can take an MR scan that used to take an hour to an hour and a half in the MR scanner which doesn't seem that long but when you're really in there it can really feel tight. I've had one. It feels <laughs> tight. It can and it's noisy and change it from being an hour to an hour and a half to maybe a half an hour, 45 minutes. So maybe cut the time in half. That would be pretty nice for patients. So what's the next step? So the next step is to take this algorithm that we know works and make it work for any patient, so make it more robust. Good to know. Research being done right here on campus at the University of Missouri. Thank you very much. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow.